wonders of what Jesus did for people like you and I. Take a look. What God cannot do. Okay, first, I think it was even because of me that NSPD and Sins of Joy started because God knows that someone like me needed saving. So my testimony is that today I'm a prayerful lady and my life is better. So my second testimony, sometime in 2015, I was still in school then. I started noticing a lot of changes in my body, but I don't know. So I went to the hospital after a lot of things they said. It was just hormonal imbalance, hyperpalatinemia and all of that. But after treatment, I was better. But it became worse again. Fast forward, I came to Abuja. I started working here. It became worse. After diagnosis, sometime in 2020, they said it was PCOS. In fact, it was even severe PCOS. I was having a lot of symptoms, hirsutism. I was having hot flush. The worst is that you cannot even explain this to people because they'll think you're exaggerating it. But you're the only one that knows what's going on. Fast forward, sometime in, um, on 27th November 2022, I came to church after first service. I said, okay, let me just say for second service. Then Papa climbed to pray, and um, four minutes after second into the prayer, Papa said every productive issue is reversed. You are right here in the service. And decree by the word of the Lord. Any negative report about your reproductive system, I decree, let it be reversed by fire. I said, oh, thank God, I think it's my word. Not knowing that my word was even coming. Seven minutes and some seconds into the prayer, Papa said, every PCOS and endometriosis is reversed by fire. He has pleased the Lord uh, to roll away uh, a Shabbatai, uh, every PCOS and endometriosis. Uh, as your amen will turn down, uh, I command, uh, let them be rolled away by fire. From that day to today, nothing I've been menstruating. I menstruate every month because bef before, sometimes four times in a year, six times in a year, in fact, 2022 was just four times in a year. Because from November to today, I am well. Nothing is happening to me. My third testimony, sometime last year, you know, as Papa would say, download pictures. As a young girl looking for her husband, I downloaded pictures. <laughs> I downloaded the ring that I liked, and I put March 2023 to it. I downloaded map of Canada, and I put Canada visa, and I put September 2023. I was not even expecting anything. Fast forward, this year, sometime in February, um, this fine man was like, let's get married. Let's do this. I said, okay. I was even looking at December, but he said, no, I want to see your people in March. First March, they saw my people. Second my introduction. 25th March, my traditional rights. 28th March, my civil wedding. I even forgot the picture. And it was now because when God does something, I just go and tick down one. So I said, oh, let me go and tick my picture. I brought it out. It was March 2023. I think that was not enough. So my visa process, I said, God, me, I don't want to stay here and my husband is somewhere else. You have to make this quicker. So Papa said one time, go and change the date, bring it closer. I said, okay, I took my paper. I canceled September and I put August. I was not even expecting anything. On Papa's birthday, I have heard people give testimonies of what happened on Papa's birthday. I said, okay, me, I'll come and testify that this happened on Papa's birthday. 22nd August, I came here. I said, God, I'm going to be a partaker. Fast forward, I went back to my office that 22nd. I didn't even check my portal. Then, 23rd, the following day, I checked my portal and I saw that my medicals have been updated. I said, oh, thank God, bro. I was not expecting anything. That was around 4 p.m. Then, around 5, past 5 p.m., I got another meal. I logged in my portal and my visa was approved. <laughs> I don't even know how God did it because it was September that I wrote this for. It was just my papa said, go and change the date. I said, no, I have to bring it forward. And I moved it to August. This is God just too good. What God cannot do... What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Tanisha and I'm actually from Canada. I joined NSPPD in July. Um, just joining, tapping into the prayers and just praying to God, right? But for the longest time, I've struggled with this back pain. I met in a car accident in February 2008 and my back has never been the same since. And to make matters worse, I met in another car accident in June 2022. So that's basically 15 years of excruciating back pain. And it didn't help that um, at the birth of my first son, I took epidural. <sighs> anyway, it's 15 years fast forward. But for the longest time, I held on to this thing like it's a part of me. And I said, no, something has to change. 
So on September the 2nd, I was watching the um, NSPPD Houston prayer conference and I said, God, I need my back to be healed. This thing is limiting my move, li limiting in me, right? And I need a shift. And when Pastor Jerry started to, to, started to pray and declare healing and that angels are dispatched, I see lightnings from heaven all over this room. Angels of transition are all over here. And I ask, is there anything too hard for the Lord? And the amount of people that were coming forward with being healed from joint pain and everything. I said, God, I am expecting a healing. Then I felt some tingling sensation around my spine and a warmth and I knew right away that I was healed. I got off the bed and I was able to touch my toes without bending my knees and that some and I felt no pain and that's something I couldn't have done for 15 years so I'm here to say listen what God cannot do does not exist what God cannot do does not exist and you just need to put a demand on the anointing put a demand on the altar of fire and watch and wait and see what God will do in your life I am just so grateful thank you pastor Jerry thank you mama Eno and all the other pastors of NSPPD I am so so grateful God bless you again what God cannot do does not exist that is now my mantra and my mighty God so thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Issa Ken Bright, and I'm making this video from London, England. I just want to thank God for my life and for healing me. Sometime in June, I actually got diagnosed with hyperthyroidism. Um, it has been something that has really, really, really drained me. It has been terrible. I, I was having severe heart palpitations. I was, you know, really fatigued, headaches. Um, I couldn't really explain it. Everything was, it seemed like everything was wrong. It really, really affected the quality of my life, my work. You know, I had to be at home because I couldn't move an inch out of bed. Um, you know, so eventually I went to my GP and I got diagnosed with hyperthyroidism. So I joined in one morning, I think this was on the 29th of August and I was praying and I was, you know, I joined in, I tuned in and Pastor Jerry was praying. And next thing he said, um, you've been healed of um, that his kick and hear hyper, hyper. And then I jumped up from my bed and he kept, well, he kept on saying, I can hear hyper. And then he said, hyperparathyroidism. I mean, it's, he didn't say hyperthyroidism, but he said hyperparathyroidism. I said, it has to do with thyroid. Anything that has to do with the thyroid gland, God, I'm healed. I jumped on it. I was screaming. I said, this is my healing. This is my healing. Hyperthyroidism. That is fact. I am hearing hyperthyroidism. And I told myself god i am healed and i was crying and i was praying and i claimed that healing and i received that healing and i can tell you that after that day i went for my tests my tsh hormones normal my t3 and t4 normal in fact the doctor was like this has been like good because everything has just suddenly gone back to normal there is no more hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism or whatever it is and since then it i've just felt better i have been okay and i thank god for my life i thank god i thank you heavenly father for all you have done and i thank you for using pastor jerry pastor guru pastor every all the pastors i just want to say thank you so much because i am healed thank you so much and truly what god cannot do does not exist Thank you. What God cannot do does not exist. Papa, you ask us how would we shout? I shouted, I shouted when my testimony entered. My name is Princess. I'm making this video from Europe. I and my family moved to Europe last yeah, last year, September. And on February this year, I was at work and I, and what they call evil emergency happened. The, I was at work and I, and I got a call from my husband and the stress services came to the house. Before I knew, they took my three children. Pastor Jerry, that was the worst nightmare of my life that I never recovered from until God intervened. I joined the altar of fire on January, beginning from January 1st, I was there and I remained there. 
when this thing happened February, I said, if I leave God, I will like go. I kept praying. I kept crying to God. My kids are just 10, 8, and 6. They took three of them. And lo and behold, on the 26th of May, Pastor Jerry, you mentioned my kids. That was the last prophecy you mentioned before Christmas. That was the very, it was, in fact, the last prophecy you mentioned before you closed the service for that day. You see, you don't know what happened. I don't know how they took your children away from you. They will return your children. I don't know what happened. They took your children away from you. They took your children away from you. But I say the Lord, your children shall be returned to you. I shouted, say, God has remembered me. My mom called me, did you hear? My mom was shouting, you are shouting. Oh, the Lord has done it for us. It was in that, in that brand, that creation that the social services now called us that we will have a meeting about our children's future. I said, God, which children's future? I don't have any business with you, my children's future. Give me my children back. I said, anyway, let's go for the meeting. On that, and the meeting was scheduled for the 20, 20, uh, 20 ninth of June. That was when Papa, that morning of that event, we declared that that family goodness, family goodness, family goodness. It will not pass in the four hours, family goodness. I don't know the family I'm talking to, but lift up your two eyes. By this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, your family will be celebrating a major good news. Kapalana, let me say it again. By this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, your family will be celebrating a major good news. We shouted, Amen, Amen. Immediately, you declared that word. That moment, we're going to call for the social services that our children will be returned to us, that they are bringing our children back. But that will be maybe towards August. I said, I, I, I was so full of joy, the alone and behold, on the 20th of July, my three kids were being brought back home. Papa, the joy was, I could not, I could not contain the joy. I was shouting. I said, if not for God, or this water that showed me mercy and brought up my kids, I don't know what I would have done. I don't know. I want to say, Papa, may God continue to bless you. May the oil of God upon your head never run dry. I want to appreciate you all for constantly pushing us to stay strong on this altar of prayer. I want to say thank you, Jesus, for restoration of my kids. And most I'm still that to stay on this altar. God gave my mother a miracle job. I want to say this God of this fire altar. Thank you. Thank you so much. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Priscilla Oluwa Tukiloba Kinoe from Niger State, Nigeria. I've come to share my testimony to the glory of God. I've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And since then, I've been praying, I've been trusting God, that God is bless me with my own baby. My sisters, two of my sisters sent me this prayer link. They've been sending me, I've been ignoring it. And the third person from my choir unit in church sent me, and I was like, ah, if this is the third person that is sending me this, that means God is really doing wonders. So during December last year, I joined the prayer link. And since then, I've been joining to the glory of God. That's yet, and that's yet that to 31st of um, December last year. Pastor Jerry gave a word of knowledge and was like, This might not be for everyone here. You are getting pregnant this December. You are getting pregnant this December. I don't know what triggered my feet. Before then, I've been listening to testimonies of women, how they would go and um, um, get um, pictures of babies they want and all that. I was like, wow, I like this kind of feet. So that very day, I went to do pregnancy test with Uranium. It was positive. I, did, I could not believe my eye myself that day. I was just rolling on the floor, shouting, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That was what I was just screaming. I could not believe. I still went ahead and I did blood test. It was still positive. So that was when I now said, Ah, God, I thank you. In fact, watch nine service. I and my husband were just thanking God. 28th of August was when I gave it. I was just shouting, Jesus, Jesus, and Jesus came through for me. <laughs> Her name is Eliora. God is my light, is the meaning. This is NSPPD uh, baby. 
heart. I've come to say thank you to Jesus. I've come to give him all glory, all praise. He is the one that has done this for me. And I know there are still more testimonies to come. Pastor Jerry, God bless you. Pastor Eno, Pastor Guru, God bless NSPPD crew members. My name is Immaculate Ivoke. I came from Lagos to give my testimony. And my testimony goes like this. I, I have always had hemorrhoid for like four years. And that was before I joined the NSPPD 2021, September. This month will make it one year precisely. Then I was planning to go for a surgery. But because I've already joined the NSPPD, I said, I'm going to get my healing on this altar. Then this year, around April, I was called by my doctor after I ran a test to tell me that I have cancer, that I have cancer. So that um, he's writing a reference letter to me, for me to go to loot. So I said to him, you know what, hold on to this letter. I will come back for it when I'm ready. I left the office. As I was leaving the office, I said, it's not me and you. I'm not taking that letter from you, not when I am on NSPPD. I went back home and I kept praying. Then on the 11th of August this year, this 2023, one hour, two minutes into the morning prayer. Pastor Jerry said, I don't know how this got complicated like this. It was hemorrhoid before, and now they are trying to put cancer. I don't know how it got complicated this way. He was hemorrhoid right now. They are putting cancer inside it. He was hemorrhoid right now. They are putting cancer inside it. If you are the one putting on the live stream, by the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I announce, let it be reversed. I quickly typed my name and I shouted amen. Then the next day, I replayed it. I said, this is my word. The second day again, I replayed it. I said, this is my word. Then on the 17th, I said, you know what? I'm going for that test. I went back for the test on the 17th. When I got there, I was just saying, what God cannot do does not exist. That's what I was just saying. And then on the 28th, I went to pick the result. Negative. Today, I don't have hemorrhoid. No hemorrhoid, no cancer. I got two at once. And I came all the way from Lagos to give God all the glory, to return the glory to him, to tell him thank you for giving me another chance, for making me to join NSPPD, and for making me to be become the woman that I have become. Because the person I was before was different. Now I pray very well. I pray like... I don't know. People now ask me, you are the one carrying this NSPP or they on fire. And I said, yes, because you don't know what he has done for me. He did for me what no man could do. He gave me another life. NSPP, they celebrate this great God. <laughs> celebrate Jesus. Celebrate our Father. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. If you can heal cancer, don't say anything. But celebrate this great God. Celebrate this great God. Somebody give the Lord a loud shout. What our God cannot do. And as we do this, let me ask you, Jesus, stay here. Jesus, stay here. You know, this last testimony could Sir. never be anything better Sir. than the description. What we call God on the yes, altar. Sir. Elroy. Elroy. How does... Oh, yeah, I mean, I say that. I keep, I keep asking myself, how does hemorrhoid and, and cancer, cancer... How do they... I mean, Sir. come on. <laughs> just cut out my dad, Jesus. Jesus, just, just, just... How does it... I mean, the fusion alone. The fusion alone. Because as I was watching the word of God, I just kept asking myself, say, wait a minute. What a minute. What am I hearing? They said it was hemorrhoid. Now they say it is cancer. Does the hemorrhoid pro pro progress to cancer? 
for this God that hey. sees. This God that oh sees. God. And as we began as your oh amen will turn the Pakaroshada and Liberada. Whatever the enemy wants to make worse in your life, I command, I command, let it be reversed by, by, reverse by fire. For what our God cannot do. Does not People of God, while you're still trying to think, oh my goodness, you know, only a mother will understand the tears of that woman. You know how they took her three children away from her, uh, three of the three children away from her, and the word of the Lord said they are coming back. They are coming back. Now, interestingly, the Lord now gave the word. I said there will be family good news. And the same day, this um, the um, social whatever, you know, reached out to them and they said, we're bringing your children back, and they brought the children earlier, earlier than expected. What? Our God cannot do. And then, as civilians, while you're still trying to recover from that one, she had hyperparathyroidism. And she said, whether it is a hyperpara or hyper, there is hyper there and there is thyroidism there. She cuckoo grabbed the word. Look on this water, you can grab anything. Anything is grabbable. Just grab. Somebody help me do your hands like this. Just, just do your hands like this. Do, do, do it again. Do it again. Whatever that is yours, whatever that, even if it is not mention I decree grab it by fire and people of God, then again, you see that instant miracle. Yes, she was watching the NSPPD Houston, Houston prayer conference. Yes, she was watching. Yes, and she told herself, yes, I must be a partaker. Yes, I didn't come here. She had an accident. She had, and this thing happened 15 yes, years yes, ago. Yes, 15 years of living with the pain. 15 years of accepting that this has become a part of you. Jesus himself. Yes, Jesus. What our God cannot do. Yes, what yes, Abba yes, cannot yes, do. Yes, this God is good. This God is good. And then as PPD and say, you heard that one about the divine turnaround. <laughs> People of God, Jesus did everything. Changed her. First of all, Jesus changed her life. Jesus rolled away PCOS. And then Jesus gave her a fine man. You know, you know, you may not understand it. You know, she said that, that this fine man reached out to her. As soon as the picture guy said, Bagam, fine man. <laughs> and please let me prophesy to everyone who is believing God right now. For a, God will give you a fine man. Fine man is not just by looks, so people of God, fine man, fine man, fine man, fine man in the pocket. God will give you a fine man. Receive the evidence right now. Fine man is not just pocket and looks, so fine man, fine man on the altar, fine man on the altar, fine man that does yakapata kapata. God will give you a fine, complete package. Receive it right now. For what our God cannot do. Does not exist. How does God give this kind of miracle? You change people's lives spiritually. You don't just stop there. Yes, you just don't stop there. You make them, give them the desires of their heart. You heal them and then you take them to their destination. Amen. That God is your God. Yes, and then as people, if you're ready like we're ready right now, we pray over every liquid you have. It ceases to be ordinary. Amen. We pray over every substance you have. It ceases to be ordinary. Amen. They become the very blood and the flesh of Jesus. Amen. And our first communion is a communion that says it is done. Amen. Eat of the flesh of Jesus.